Hey everybody, welcome to Mega Man 2. Yes, it is part 2 of my 6 part quest to go through the original NES Mega Man games. Now, as you've noticed, I'm going through the difficult mode instead of the easy mode. <laughs> because I'm that much of a masochist. And of course, I'm going to start with Air Man. The one that. I don't understand why he's so tough. I mean, he's not that hard. I mean, even when I was younger, he wasn't too awful hard. I mean, Jeebus, man. Although, what I do wonder is. I'm, 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 I'm totally going to, like, wait to go on because I got to note this. These things right here. What the hell are they supposed to be? They look like they're, like trying to push apart the stage or something. What are they for? I mean, they don't damage you. You don't shoot them and damage them. I mean, what are they for? Are they just supposed to be decoration? And why those? I mean, it's like, Airman has the worst decorator ever. Oh my god! He's just the worst. Oh my god! And stream move. Rapid fire bullets. Yay! And yes, I know, still no video game sounds or music. Ugh. It's a pain. But hopefully I'll fix that one day. <laughs> one day. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. About this one. If, for those who don't know, who are just joining me in, if this is your first video made by me, I actually reviewed this game as my first standalone game review. Way back in January. Wow. It feels like it's been forever since I did that review. <laughs> Oh, yes, and incidentally, that review right there, the review I did for this game, it has, so far, the most views out of all my videos. You know, uh, it's got like 300-something views. Now, I wish that had happened when, uh, when I started getting more for my ad revenue, because then I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm one of those guys, yeah, I, I do want to make money, but I also, you know, I also love it, so it's like I want to make money doing what I love. And some people, they want to make money doing what they love, and it's called playing with their ferret. Ooh, wow, one shot and he disappears. <laughs> uh, yes, so, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I hate birds. I hate these birds. These birds, uh, there we go. Ooh, yay. Okay, run, 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 run. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, I'm actually, oh, man. Uh, let's see, Airman. I can't defeat Airman. Yeah, I know. I took a hit like that. Just boom. Ha 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 ha. One down, seven to go. Oh man. So it's been about what three? Yeah, about three minutes. Cause as I'm looking at my timer here, that's not so bad. Three minutes to to take down one boss. Um, let's see. <laughs> um, dum 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 air shooter. Yay, air shooter! And I'm watching this on the TV, and I'm watching it on the computer at the same time, and I, I'm just noticing, like, the difference between the actual action and then the computer taking it. Which is why I actually do these on the TV, and then I pipe it from the TV into the computer. So that way I can still play and get all the right timing. I think I've explained it before in another video or something. Um, but yeah, speaking of uh, Mega Man games, I actually have been taking part in a multi-part podcast, you know, on the Legendary Frogcast, where we would talk about Mega Man games. And by and large, this one is definitely the best one, most popular, of course. I mean, hell, just 300 views of me, you know, relative new reviewer, just talking about this game. <laughs> I have to wonder how many people are actually going to watch... You know this particular uh, series of videos. I don't know if it'll take one video. Well, it'll definitely take more than one. I don't know if it'll take two or three or what have you. But um, but uh, let's see. We. But um, definitely, I'm 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 curious to see how many views it will take. You know how many views I'll have. It's definitely interesting and uh, like the uh, first two uh blah, 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 blah. first two segments of my uh, Mega Man run. <laughs> well, the only two segments of that game, but um, anyways, I I'm 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 talking in circles here. But the but those games actually had I think at least 40 or 50 views each, with the first segment having like 70 something, almost 80 views. So that's pretty good. So I'm 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 really I'm really ha I am happy about it. Oh man, and also I 
<laughs> just finished editing and putting together my newest uh, review, my top 14 interesting Pokemon facts as of this video, and um, <laughs> and it was it's an interesting one, and it was interesting to go out and find clips. I had to go on YouTube, get a whole bunch of them, which they all got a really big special thanks for it because. As I as I noted in the video, if it wasn't for them, I would probably still be working on that shit. So, oh man. So um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna be doing a podcast after I finish up with this. I don't know if it'll be after this section or the next section. It'll probably be after the next section that I'll be working on another podcast tonight with some of the guys in the uh, that guy with the glasses chat room, which will be kind of cool. You know, it'll help get me more out there and. I still gotta work on getting my own podcast back up and going. Um, <laughs> yeah, th that'll be fun. Uh, and of course, once I can get that back up and going, odds are, whatever I do will probably help with um, getting the game footage, you know, a little bit better with the actual game background noises and everything instead of just me talking all the time over OC Remix music. Ah, oh, you bitch. Ah, stupid. Eh, die. There you go. Yeah. Hey, at least it didn't knock me off the bottom of the screen this time. Energy tank! Now, most people would have to go back down, but not me. Because I am good. Because I am the man. I am a man! I've still got to remember, at some point, because I got a little video of my cousin. He's like three years old now. And I can get him to use Linkar's catchphrase, I am a man. <laughs> it is so adorable how he does it. Uh, in fact, I got his sister sometimes saying, I am a woman. Hmm. Oh. So, it is it's truly adorable. Um. Oh, yeah, Crash Man. Whee! Yeah, we're gonna blow him. Yeah. We're gonna give him a blowjob he will never forget. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Uh. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're talking about the podcast for later on the Skype chat. Uh, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely, um, with the one I'm doing later, I'll definitely link to it in, in, uh, places that I actually post, so. You know, you'll probably see it in a link along with this re- not, I was about to say this review, no, this, uh, segment, actually. My, uh, like, <laughs> not saying things right. Uh, so. But for all intents and purposes, as of this video, the, uh, top 14 list is done. I'm just waiting on the title card. <laughs> So I mean, she's been wor she's been working really hard on it. I mean, and and yeah, I do credit her in my videos, but she's only done like two so far, and it's mostly because she's been busy with like school and finals and everything. But you know what? It's it's definitely worth it. And I know she is an artist. She could use she can always use the practice and working on deadlines and everything if she wants to like. I don't know if she really wants to like do it as a living, but if she does, it was, this is kind of great practice for that. So. But regardless, you know, if she wants to do it as a living or not, um, if you have a chance, go and check her out. I do link to her at the end of uh, every video since... Oh, man. Since at least one of my uh, Hanna-Barbera Month videos. I don't remember exactly which one. Oh, uh, yay! And I made the leap. Yay. Uh, and fall and get the power up. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, you know, I haven't watched Family Guy in forever. I haven't watched The Simpsons in a while either, so maybe I should catch up on those, because I've caught up on South Park, always caught up on Doctor Who, <laughs> so it's like, I gotta like catch up on the other two, if possibly. I think the last one I remember, I don't even remember the last one I saw, but, um, but yay, and let that go, and boink. Mm. Yeah, no, that's like, my body wants to burp, and, I, and it's like, it's not letting itself burp. Don't you ever... I hate when that happens. It's like, I need to burp. No, you're not going to burp. I need to burp. I have gas in my belly. Ugh, I need to let out the gas, man. Well, let it out the other way. No, man. Because if it gets... Because um, if it goes too much, well... You're going to need new underwear. <laughs> uh, and I know a lot of people are sitting there thinking, Dude, you... Oh, you know. But, you know, it's a fact of life. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. What a flasher. Uh, he flashed me. What is it with you nudists? And, and, come on, come on. Stop right there, yes! Oh, look at that, he just stops and let, and the thing just kind of blows up on, in his face. <laughs> I love doing that. 
this is why this is why I like using the crash bomber on him. <laughs> you can just let it blow up in his face. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So while this is going, I'm gonna get the time stopper in item three, and I'm gonna take a drink of my pop here. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's good pop. The pop I'm actually drinking is kind of like a generic brand. I think it's Clover Valley Cola. Wow. I mean, and and yes, and yes, this is this is this is what I'm probably going to do more of in the uh, in these screens here because I can't skip them. Uh, let's see, serving size one can. This can contains 170 calories. Wow. Uh, quick man. I have to. I have to wonder. I'm going to ask you guys, and leave me a comment. Send me an email. Something. Let me know. Um, let me know how um, if you can actually get through this without having to use the time stopper. You know. And bonus points if you can beat Quick Man without the time stopper, which I will be using the time stopper in my run here. But you know, as far as uh, fighting Quick Man, not with the beams. But as far as fighting Quick Man, I will be using the time stopper just for speed purposes. And run, 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 or you'll be well done. <laughs> and we just drop. Ooh, you see how close that was? That was fucking close, man. Oh. So let's see. And it's dark, and we got these things. Hey, one up. And you need to die before you start flaming me. Don't flame me, flaming piece of turd. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Leap, 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 and... Oh, yes, this is fun. Yeah, this was definitely... When I was actually getting footage for uh, my Mega Man 2 review, this part, for some reason, I would sit there and I would try and get all the stuff that I need for it, and I'd just keep on dying. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's weird. It's like, when I absolutely need to do something with it, I fuck up somehow. Oh, that was close. Oh... Yay, and I am done. Yay! See, because people like people who can do that are awesome. Which means I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm more awesome than your mother. <laughs> Ow, oh, well, screw you too, buddy. No, I'm just gonna go on and... Oh, look, I'm all purple and shit. And click, 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 and... And here we go with Quick Man. Let's hope he does a high leap. Yes! I hate it when he does a low leap and I'd use the f time stopper. And it's so awkward, because he'll sit there and be low leaping and everything. And of course, we can just hope he runs into the Crash Bomber. And. Doo -doo 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 -boom -boom -boom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's almost as. Almost um, it's not as easy, you know, to get him to do that as it is Flash Man, but. Once you get it down, you can probably do it pretty well. Uh, oh, let's see. Get equipped with Quick Boomerang, and he is—he's gonna be rocking the pink man, cause he's pink. It's gonna be pink. Uh, yeah, I was actually watching uh, some of the Nostalgia Chick stuff earlier, so um, some of that might come into it. Like I was watching her Earth Girls Are Easy review. <laughs> I think the cat just came. <laughs> it was like. The night, one, one night I was sitting there watching it, and I don't know why, but I was really susceptible to uh, giggling fits that night. <laughs> and and as soon as that line came out, I, I just lost it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sitting here laughing up a storm. You know, people are coming by my room. Are you okay? No, it's fine. It's fine. It was just a uh, rainbow-colored kitty orgasm. <laughs> oh, man. But, um... Oh, man. But, oh, so let's see, um... Oh! Oh, I don't think I addressed it in a video yet. At least not one of these. Um, got about five and a half minutes or so. So I can sit here and address it. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about my sexual education rant. Because I can. And because I do want to clarify something. Uh, one of the comments that was left, um, I don't know if it was intentional or if the person didn't realize what he, were, he or she was saying. But when I was talking about abstinence-only education, you know, that's the key word you got to remember: abstinence only. You know, to where you know the only thing that's taught is just don't have sex. 
and that's not the way to go. Now, if you're going to teach abstinence in addition to everything else, oh, excuse me, you know, if you're going to say, yeah, okay, you know, the, the surefire way to not get pregnant, not get STDs or whatever is to not do it, you know, and then say, but if you choose to do it, here are the risks you're taking, and here's how you can minimize those risks if you decide to have sex anyway. Because we all know, you know, teenagers are going to do what they're going to do, you know? I mean, it's hormones. It's human nature. We And so, you know, we're going to... We're going to boink. Oh, man. Yee! Now, I wonder... Let's see. It's about 16 minutes in, give or take. Um... Oh, yeah. Quick boomerang. Wee! <laughs> ah, and he's on a conveyor belt. Lovely. And too bad I won't have the advantage I will later on. Ah, uh, come on. Come here. There you go. Ha 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 ha. Look at him, he's pink. Very pink indeed. Ah, so. Got people getting into the Skype chat there for the podcast later. The podcast in question is called, uh, I think it's called This Is My Fetish. And it's one of the guys in the chat room have been wanting to get me in on, but. You know, for most weekends we've had uh, my cousins over, and where am I going? Oh yeah, Bubble Man! Yay! Uh, for the record, I love Hyatt's remix of this song. It's just awesome. So um, if you have a chance, go listen to it. It's uh, on YouTube. Just look for uh, Hyatt H Y A D A I N, and you know, look up Hyatt and Bubble Man, and you'll find it. And it's it's it's, it's really well done. And I'm just going to switch to Metal Blades because I can. And yay. Boing, boing. And look at these. These platforms are falling. Oh my god. They're just going to fall to the ground. So yeah. Oh, and... Pff, why did they do that? That was so mean of them. Just boom, right there. Ah. And leap into the water. Yay. And die. Come on. Come on. Ooh, wow. Felt another burp type thing wanting to come on. But it doesn't, because it's weird. Because my body is being weird. Uh, yes, so. Mm. I think after I beat Bubble Man, I'm gonna split off into the next segment. So, um, so yeah, after Bubble Man, we'll split off into part two. Um, and weep! Yay! Metal Blade is awesome. I mean, you know, hands down, it's definitely the best Mega Man weapon of all time. Um, even better than the Jewel Satellite. Because <laughs> even though the Jewel Satellite protects you from, well, everything, you know, the Metal Blade, you can throw in eight directions, go through shit, and it takes up, like, not a whole lot of your light, of your weapon energy meter. And it's strong as fuck, too. I mean, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's fun. And you got these ambushing air, you know, anti Mega Man air missile crabs thingies. I don't know. Well, I have anti air metal blades, so I win. Yay, I got a 1-up. Okay, you got another one? No? Good. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Anti-air metal blades. We gotta remember that for later. Because that is just pure awesome. And here we go. What would be really bad is if you could still keep going and you go into those spikes. I wonder, would you die? If that if that were possible? And Bubble Man. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that was too easy. Aw, oh, man. Uh, yes, and they're introducing people around in the chat, you know. It's great. <laughs> so, um, so okay, I'll take these this last little bit of time before I stop the video before to uh, say a few things, I guess. Um, I guess next part will be... I'm probably going to release this part and the next part the same day, which will be awesome. Yay! And, um, anyways, until the next part, um, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off, and stay tuned for part two.